Jesse loves the takeover. You can't stop us. <laughs> anything, 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 anything. We do what dons do. Longest night, anything. Come on, I shut the whole thing out here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh yes, just the man I wanted to see. You've had exactly seven days to get your shit together. How's that been going? Uh. It has its challenges, but nothing's without its challenges, do you know what I mean? And Dana Black is your number two, why him? It was actually a really easy decision. I mean, I didn't even think twice about it. As soon as them not asked me to take over, I knew straight away that I needed flips. Um, he's someone that understands what it takes to play for this club. He has the right energy, the right passion, the right vibe. Um, so yeah, it was perfect. It was a no-brainer for me. Back then, a ton was a lot of change. One jeans, one jump up, I couldn't change. Until I met the Budge and Kane. Now I'm trying to get the range with the wooden grain. Uh, a few years ago, George said to me, come and play for the Dons. Come and enjoy your football. Over the last few weeks, how many of you have been able to say that you've been enjoying it? Coming here and having fun? Nobody. And you know what? It's your fault. And it's your fault. And it's your fault. And it's your fault. Everybody in here, it's our fault. Because we haven't been willing to work hard for each other. You haven't been able to come in and go, I gave my all today. We haven't been able to do that. It's been embarrassing. And it's no one to blame but ourselves. We are a fantastic team. When I look around the change room, what fantastic individuals. But that's all we are, a team of individuals. At what point in this season have we looked around and gone, fuck me, that was a great performance. What a great team performance. That needs to change today. Not because of who we're playing, not because of the competition that we're playing in, but for us as a unit. So we know that we can build off of this. We can continue to build something for the season. Not just, oh, we need to win because it's Hatcher. Oh, we need to win because it's the Nationals. No, we need to win for us. We need to win for SC London. Play, 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 play. play, play. That's the old school. How are you today? Hello, Chris. I'm very good today, thank you, Chris. I'm looking forward to this game very much. And you'll notice I've got a little poppy on, on the Don's badge. That signifies that we're remembering all our fallen heroes in the, in the wars that have sacrificed their lives for this country. Every time we play, we, we say anything for Paula. The reason we say that is because we honour the dead. We've got to win this game and we're doing it for the, for the people that died for us. God bless you all. Have a great week. Enjoy the game most of all. And uh, we'll see you next week. GDK, Kebab Jam Rat, sponsor the punters. What are you saying, man? Good. Man, that little edge, you know? Yeah, man. What are you saying? I'm saying. Bro, well done, man. Thank you for keep working, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Keep going, bro. Uh, well, that, man. Do you, know what, you know what's mad, yeah? yeah? yeah. It's the first game in charge. I'm seeing bare man at his for time floating about. We've got you here. We've got months. Walla. What's going on here, bro? I mean, I'm glad that you're busy. Is that to make his debut today? Yeah. Maybe, still. The vibe that we've had today, haven't seen in ages. The way that we've just warmed up the way that we're interacting with each other. It doesn't seem like it's loads of different groups. It's like it's one big group now. One big group, all happy to be together. That's fantastic. I've imagined us with our foots on their necks. Foots on their necks, not letting up. And then last second when they're about to go, do you know what we do? We let our foot up, do you know why? Just so they can see our face. So they can see how much we're enjoying it. And then do you know what we do? Foot goes back on the neck and we crush the life out of them. Mm. Crush the life out of them. That is the importance of this game. I'm being real, I don't like them. I don't like no one over there. I want to destroy them. You need to have that mindset. Fucking go and destroy them. Does everyone understand? And that puts us on our new path, where we want to go. Essie Dons, where we want to go. We write our own story. We forge our own path. But it starts fucking today. My job here is not to tell you how to play football. I trust in, in the vision of Kingy and the tactical people here and all your football knowledge. You don't know how to play football. I'm all here trying to motivate you <coughs> of what it means. I'm going to share just a quick story. You might listen and think, what's he talking about? But I feel as though it's something you can learn from. When I was about nine years old, yeah, it's just facts. I lived in Long Hill Road, right by Foster Park. I was in Foster Park with one of my friends called Adam. Little fat boy, yeah? I had um, loads of Pokemon cards. Loads of them. I gave him half a mind, was just looking at the Pokemon cards. I looked in the distance and I saw like four or five boys coming towards us. They was in that uh, Sedge Hill uniform. So they would have been um, secondary school kids. We were primary school. I said one thing to Adam, I said, whatever they ask you, 
Don't let them look at your Pokemon cards. Don't give them to him, them, to, to, to these boys. This was the time when Pokemon cards were being robbed. He said, nah, cool, cool. The boys come over to us, yeah? The big one goes to me, ah, oh, do, do you want to swap Pokemon cards? I said, nah, I'm good, man. I don't want, I don't want to do no swapping. Goes to Adam. Ah, oh, do you want to do some swaps? What did Adam say? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, let me see your Pokemon cards. Bearing in mind, they're my Pokemon cards, yeah? So then the guy's got his Pokemon cards now. He's looking at them. And then what do they start to do? They start to walk off, yeah? They start to walk out of the park. I'm, I'm a small little skinny kid, I'm nine years old, I can't do nothing about it, yeah? I'm fuming, yeah? I said to Adam, don't let them look at your Pokemon cards. I've gone, my dad's here, I went and knocked on the, on the door. I said, Dad, these kids just, just, just took my Pokemon cards, yeah? We've jumped in a car, gone looking for them. Long story short, Pokemon cards were gone, yeah? He told me you are the company that you keep. Adam was a victim. That made me a victim. We've lost two games in a row, which makes us losers. Get rid of that habit now. We ain't Adam, you know? <laughs> We're winners, do you understand? And today we win at all costs. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even caring who's not here, you know? I'm looking at who is here. RP7 is back in amongst the folds because he knows how important this game is. Mm. Timmy's back here. I'm seeing people here, diggers, K runners back, job at wing back, answers back, not even 100%. I love every one of you here, boys. It's Remembrance Day as well. That makes me think about my mum and think people that we've all lost along the way. People that went before us. That's all I want to say about today's game, boys. I trust, in, I trust in it, I trust in the tactics. If the tactics go out the window, then it's fucking us or them. And I, I back us every day of the week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all I want to say. We have one of two options. We can be known as the suckers that gradually ran this club into the ground, or the fucking gladiators that fucking brought it back. Which one are you going to be known as? <laughs> Which one are you going to be known as, boys? <laughs> Just put our hands in. Mm. Let's make the most Let's go, ways boys. possible. Let's go, yeah? boys. Let's go, boys. Ready, boys. Yeah, big win today. <laughs> big, big win today. Three, two, one. Go. Go. Let's go. So, today's lineup for the Nationals. Massive cup competition and Kingy's first game in charge of the club. He's going for a 3 5 2. That's a skipper, Big G, in between the sticks. Back three, we have SK, JD, and a Rhino. Two wing backs is a double return. K Runner and RP7. Three in the middle, we got Lefty, Bobo Faith, and Nathan Palmer. Up top, two powerhouses. J Boogie. Marcel Barringtelli Super subs On the bench today Zach Ansar Timmy Diggers Mr. Robinson And JJ So that's how the lineup's looking And for today's game One of the biggest in the club's history We want 10,000 likes Now's your chance Like the video Grab your popcorn Sit back Let's get into it Okay then what's happening people Welcome back to another episode of SE Don Sunday League Football For what is a mammoth of a fixture between SC Dons and Hatcham in the FA Sunday National Cup. Today, we do battle with the boys in pink for a spot in the last 32 of this prestigious cup. As I've said previously, this is basically the FA Cup of Sunday League football. It is open to the whole nation and everyone is playing for the chance of being crowned the Kings of England. You'll notice we've been drawn to two teams in our league, which is ridiculous, but we can't complain, we just play. At the moment, we're in the regionals, which means we can only be drawn against teams within London or the southern area of the UK. If we manage to reach to the quarterfinals, it opens up to the whole nation. You could see the Dons in Newcastle. However, we know loads about Hatcham. They're a very, very good side, and this is going to be a very, very tough game. So sit back. Don't take your eyes off this one. Let's start. Fuck yeah. Off the line now. Move back. Move back. Move back. Move back. Move back. Fellas. Fellas, come off the line for me. So as you just heard, the liner on the sideline bellowing at the lads and he's not really getting much feedback because, to be honest, he was just rude. It's poor communication. We're all grown men shouting at us like he's some sort of a police officer. Um, if he speaks with manners and communicates properly, we'd be more than happy to oblige as we do so as the game goes on. But yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, Nathan Palmer arriving late. That's an opportunity there. And eventually, Baron Telly's offside. Get this off the line, because I can't see. All right, otherwise, this game will be abandoned. No, get out! You shouldn't be. Why are you doing that to speak? Why are you doing that to speak? Why is he being so rude? Why are you being rude? You're not offside in this half that we're talking about. I don't get it. So for those of you in the comments that want to label us a bunch of fucks, probably saying, why don't they just get back from the line? Eventually we did, we got the cones out and everyone stood behind the cones so the landlord could see. But as I said, poor communication. Anyway, we move on though. Uh, K Runner, such a joy to have him back. Taking number two line, whips it in. It comes off the gut of that centre back, cleared out. Only as far as Eskio takes a touch, her body arrives. It's just gone like uh, wide. We know that Hatcham are a good ball playing side. We know they're going to be confident enough to play out. Uh, so we've pressed, lefty comes forward, he collects it, he's done well there. Knocks it through to Nathan Palmer, he lets it run. J Pookie! 
52, 10 second shoot with a tenth. This is elite level Sunday League football, make it no doubt. Two very good sides. But some of you are just here for the old school, scrappy Sunday League stuff like this. Uh, foot's being kicked about, uh, ball's going half missing. It comes to SK, scrappy clearance, uh, but eventually gets his head to it, knocks it into K runner who takes a touch inside, brings a little bit of quality back to the sector as he drives it over the top to Marcel. Uh, it's good defending. Chris received a message from Rano last week. He said he's feeling harshly done in the edits. He's saying that we're making him look toxic when really he's just misunderstood. It seems he's tried to get rid of Chris. Bro, oh, not forget me, bro. Forget me, the camera good. Essie yes, Dons is the streets. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that from a fact. 1934 and a duck on Waffle. Rhino tries to find Lefty, but it's a loose pass. Uh, the midfielder grabs on it and gets past Bode. It's a good run from him, but he has to stop him. It's a free kick. Number 23, Anis steps up for Hatcham. Good player, has a goal, and looks closer than it actually was. If you want to be taken seriously, you got to be taken seriously. Yeah. 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 You already know. This is actually all jokes aside, banter aside. Marcel Baring Telly was actually suffering with a bad stomach, like proper bad. Said he had diarrhea, etc. But he knew we needed him. He was going for power up top. Um, he said he'd do anything for the Dons. But literally, he just couldn't deal with it. I'm just thankful he was wearing brown underwear. Um, but he had to come off, man. But anyway, on comes Zach Ansa, the golden child. When you got someone like him coming off the bench, who are we to complain? <laughs> to play for the Dons, you got to love the badge. You got to be prepared to put your body on the line. Literally, like Big G and JD. Some of you are just here for them leg snapping tackles. 32 34 on the referee's Android watch. Uh, and in my opinion, we've been the better side so far. Um, I think we've dominated the game, we've had the better chances. Hatchim haven't really had a chance to go at the moment. And we've had two or three that we should have done better with. Anyway, it's RP7, finds Nathan Palmer. And there's another chance with... Jay Boogie! As you can see, Boogie takes it so well on the turn. But he's got to do better with the finish. 33-35, uh, goal kick, Oli Payne knocks it forward, lefty goes for the header. Uh, comes down to RJ up top for Hatcham. Um, I think that Stefan jumps towards it, comes to Anis, and like I said, good play, he goes for it. But it's just gone wide. <laughs> Talking of RJs, you're probably wondering where R1 is. Here's his nephew, JD, winning his headers. But yeah, RJ is suspended. He had to miss three games for getting sent off at UTR. This was the last of his suspensions, so he'll be back next game. But here's his nephew. RJ! Yeah! Yeah! It's Sunday League football, no matter how pretty you want to make it look. And some of you are just here for the tackles. I ain't said it wasn't. I ain't said nothing. I ain't said nothing. You. How long left? Hold on, Hold on, you bold that. 40 on the clock, and as I said, I think the first 30, we did dominate this half, but there has been a momentum change, and Hatcham have been good for these last 10 minutes. They're starting to get a lot of possession on the ball. They're coming forward again. It's another dangerous opportunity. 41-56, Zach Anza collects it out to the right. Uh, not much space there in the middle. Finds Nathan Palmer turns and runs into a little bit of trouble. Uh, the big man collects it in the middle, driving forward. Little one-two of Ryan James, and he's through with Big G one on one. So 43 on the clock. Moments before half time, and he steps up for Hatcham. A real frustrating time to concede a goal just before half time. Uh, but we've got to go in now, listen to what King has got to say, stay patient and get back into this. If they didn't score, there wouldn't be really no panic because we would have had the better half. It's just because they've scored, so don't lose sight of how well we've actually played. Calm the f down. Mm -hmm. Why are we panicking? There's still 45 minutes of football to play. Yeah. We're going on like it's the end of the world, like we can't bring it back. 
We're one nil down. Not three nil down, not four nil down, not five nil down. We are one nil down. Pick your head up. Pick your head up. Pick your f***ing head up. We can still bring this back. I believe we can bring this back. Mm -hmm. We will bring this back. But it's going to take every single one of you. So for the second half, we're going to go uh, four at the back. We're going to go for it. So Ryan Palmer right back. Uh, Rion left back. SK and JD two centre halves. Lefty Bode. Uh, runner in the 10, Nathan off the right, off the left, Boogie off the right, Zach down the middle. So the biggest problem that we had, that second part of the half, was everything we did was played in front of them. Everything was in front of them. We made life so easy for their centre halves. We stopped doing that, being a threat in behind. So now, with Ansa, Runner, Boogie and Nathan Palmer, when one of them goes, one of them comes short to get it, everybody else will spin it, spin it, spin it. Central areas is key. If we can dominate that central area, then we'll get success in this half. And the only other thing is we need to make sure we take our chances. No point of having half decent chances in the box and we're not taking them. We need to become a ruthless side. Everyone happy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Flips? They're going into their half-time team talk preparing for how we played in the first half. We've changed it up, yeah? Let's go out there and have confidence in each other, boys, yeah? Confidence in ourselves, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it, boys. Hands get in, man. Hands in, in boys. Come on, boys. Come on, Come on. One nil down, light work. Oh, come on, we boys. Believe to the f***ing in. Three, two, one, done! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And away a cut, man. Big bumper clock, man. Big bumper clock, man. In the building, family. Oh, go on. Out here, bro. Hey, bum! Wanna come alive now? He's telling me, man. He's saying to me, fam. Wanna come alive? Hey, lefty! I don't want to hear no chaying, I want to see a smile and man kicking bull fam. Where the f*** you I've pulled up you know. I've pulled up fam, he's saying to me fam. I've pulled up fam. I'm looking mad depressive. I'm looking upset. Yeah, but it's life. We've got to bag two or three. You know what I'm saying? Come on. A quick reminder. The Dons have teamed up with Puma and made all the matchday attire available to the family. However, you must act fast because the stock won't last. The bench jackets was available but they sold out. Don't panic, they'll be back in a couple of weeks. While you're in the shop, remember the brand new lifestyle caps are available. Also the SC Dons badge caps are available. But most importantly, don't forget, the Don Galactico shirts are in stock. However, when you grab your merch, don't just sit down on it. Send in your photos, like Stu. He says FD's man, anything for the Dons. And I agree with him. Nah, that ain't John Travolta. That's Mark Rennie. And he's got his Galactico shirt. He's wearing it proud. Where's yours? So, second half begins. 45 minutes to get back into this game and secure a spot in the next round. And it's a corner for Hatcham. So, a no nonsense clearance from RP7 off the line. Uh, K Runner takes it. Lovely touch. Spins past his man. He gets fouled for the 100th time. Forty-six on an olive branch. SK sprays one out wide to Nathan Palmer. Great pass, even better touch inside. Uh, he's through as a shot. That's a massive shot for a handball. But it goes out for a corner. So in swinger from lefty whipped in. Keeper gets his fist to it, clears it. Uh, lefty lets it run out. Rhino's gonna cross the pitch to take the throw on. Mickey Blue Eyes crossing by in the fog, but don't let that distract you. From Nathan Palmer. <laughs> Just like that, within the first five or the half, Don's back in the game. And who else would you put your mortgage money on than Nathan Palmer? Uh, so cool and collected, it's Jay Boogie sprinting down the, uh, the wing. Lovely touch from Ansar. Back to Nathan Palmer! <laughs> so what a start to the second half. We've come out firing, got ourselves back in this one. And looking for that second as well, but we can't switch off at the back. Uh, Stefan whips it in, and that's an outstanding clearance from JD. <laughs> Lessons with Bobo Faith. Don't panic when the ball's coming out of the air in a high pressure game. Just take it down with either side of your foot. 57 04, the Don's really stepping on Hatcham's necks as requested by the Gaffer King. A lefty pounces on a mistake. A lovely weighted ball forward to Nathan Palmer, causing havoc out there. Uh, but the defenders do well to get back. 
and knock him off his vixen. That's the funny thing about getting in a zone when I commentate. I don't even know why I said the word vixen. It didn't make sense. Uh, but we continue, we let it go. But they just driving forward with force, beating two or three fellas and goes for it. And why not? Like I said, he's not toxic. He's just misunderstood. That's an outstanding challenge there from Ryan. Now that one's going to sting in the bath later. Uh, but he's committed to the badge. He fires it out to Nathan Palmer. Can't see from the camera. Yeah, it is Nathan. It's a lovely pass as well. Well waited to Zach Ansar. Uh, drives across. Uh, he's got Nathan Palmer coming over to support him again. Uh, goes to drop one in, whips it in. Uh, it's come off the defender. Look at this footwork there from Nathan Palmer. Big G's got to send that over to Soccer AM for the skills tricks and that video stuff. It goes out for a corner though. Uh, Nathan Palmer lining up. Uh, goes to whip it in. A uh, good clearance from the uh, defender. Only as far as Anis, I think that is. He fires it forward. And it's that man Rhino again. <laughs> Quick change for the Dons, lovely shift from Jay Boogie, on comes JJ. I'll be honest, the Hatcham gaffer Jamie Ian Bill Leggett has come to every Dons game this season. I think he's beginning to get frustrated that his scouting report hasn't worked. He's just a boxer now, but some of you are here for the sliding tackles. This is outstanding from SK. 82-13, up close there on lefty as he steps inside, whacks it out wide, outstanding pass as always, perfect touch from Nathan Palmer, could this be the moment, he's got Zach Anser waiting in space, ready to tap it in, but he can't find him. <laughs> Quick change for the Dons, outstanding shift there from Rhino, and a man we haven't seen for a while, he loves the badge, Mr Robinson. 92nd minute now deep into stoppage time and just like the first half I feel like we really dominated that first 35 uh, but this last 10 minutes we began to slow down uh, but we're doing well we're keeping a great shape and you can see Big G just reminded him to stay in shape and what that's doing is making it hard for Hatcham to break us down we're keeping them further back towards their own goal uh, nowhere in danger and we're okay with that so with a full time whistle just around the corner if we can't score now it will mean penalties uh, that's lovely football there, intricate passing from Bode and Lefty. Um, he cuts inside, tries to find Nathan Palmer, can't quite make it happen. But that full-time whistle is going to go. And it's going to finish SC Dons 1, Hatcham 1. There is no extra time in this competition, so it's going to go straight to uh, penalties. And as always, I'm going to allow the penalties to run raw. I'm not going to commentate and let you really get that experience as if you were there. So just before we get into that, I want to remind us all, we're looking for a 10,000 like count. Like the video if you haven't undone so already. At the end of the episode, head over to the shop, scdons.com. We've updated all the stock for the family. As always, a massive shout out to our patrons. Big up everyone that signed up. Link is in the description if you want to watch the full and uncut version of our episodes. Full 90 minutes plus bonus content. Do that now. But I'm going to stop talking. I know you don't want to hear none of this. You want to get straight into it. So I'm going to hand it over to Kingy. And I'll see you all next week. Guys, another great half. Let's call it what it is, it's another great half. We just didn't take our chances. And in the last five, 10 minutes of the half, we start to die. But it's another half where we dominated. Those are things that we can build upon. Two halves of football, we dominated the first 30 to 35 minutes of both of them. Last 10 minutes letting us down. But it's a platform for us to build. Now we've, got, we've still got an opportunity to get to the next round. Relax, pick your spot, be confident. Be fucking confident. Trust in George. Does everyone understand? Mm. Mm. He wants to take the first. Me. S on the first. Second. Yeah. Mean everything to do. Mean every kick. Mean every Spot kick. Buddy. Calm. Bobo, second. Third. Yes. Who's RP, yeah, RP. Palmer. Ryan Palmer, lefty, fourth. Fifth. Me, me on five. Ants, fifth. Yeah. Six. Six. Come on, I love that. Ants. Six. NMP, six. Six. Like, who's six? NMP, six. Yeah, you got Seven. If we need it. Me. Mali. Mali, That's seven. Cool. Eight if we need it. Yeah, I'm here. And then JJ, cool. We'll see you on eight. Let's play this game. Come on. 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 Come on.
score, bro. We're going to knock the score. We're going to miss. <laughs> On the rocks.
are not meant to be here! Yes! Come on! I said it! RP7 is playing night! No, 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 I kept my rosy and done it. Oh, big yeah. win, big win. Anything for the dance, that's it. What you don't know, our family's our block! It's our block! <laughs> SC Dons, man. My boy DC in the building. Club. That's what it means, bro. That's what this club means. It's more than a football club, bro. It's more than a football club. Legend, man. I know the roads. And I know the roads to the final. See, man, come, man, change, man, change the dynamic. That's what happens. That's what winners do. We turn up, we win. Through to the next round. Boy, bro. The boy done brought the streets back for Nah, bro. <laughs> Team effort, G. Boy, no, it's huh? you, bro. Nah, no, bro. You, bro. Don't, don't let him do that. It's don't let him do that. It's the both of us. It's the both of us. Why these nerds all screaming out, gang? My shooters like United don't sleep on them, they tango and bang. I was in Rio with Gio, found me a wife with a golden tan. I'm the kid with a golden plan. Came from the trap, it was cold and damp. Now I'm in park all with dams. London City is burning, and the peak's still lurking. Car like Chelsea, I'm bringing in Sterling. 